Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached a point where we never thought we would even reach. Actually, we reached a point where we thought we reached a long time ago. The last Beatles song, Now and Then. As I explained in my YouTube shorts, it's basically a demo that John Lennon has done, but then basically a few parts have been added by the remaining three members over the course of 30 years um, to make this song work. And it's finally here and I'm going to be listening to it and hopefully I will leave satisfied. All right, here we go. I'm extremely nervous, but you know, as you can see, I already liked it because that's how much faith I have in any Beatles song ever. Uh, if it's from Beatles for sale, then I don't have much faith in it, but we'll see how this holds up. Okay, I need to adjust the volume. Here we go, guys. Now and then, the Beatles. I think there's one thing I have to do now. Truly unbelievable. That was amazing. Wow. I don't even have words to describe what I just listened. I mean, of course, obviously John's isolated voice is not perfect, but it's it's the best we can get and it still even sounds good if you're not very much paying attention. The the orchestration was perfect. It's not like let it be where it's like at least like uh, the uh, the Phil Spector let it be where it's not like in your face and it's like just trying to tell you that orchestrations are the coolest thing ever. No, it's 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 not. It's it's it, when it's used in the right moments, it's the coolest thing ever. And this thing, oh my god, it was perfect. And hearing Paul's voice, Paul McCartney, like this is the the current day Paul McCartney, like an 80 year old Paul McCartney singing with like um like a late 30s John Lennon. It's like very weird, but it feels so good at the same time. I don't know why. It just feels like. It feels like the greatest seance you will ever see, <laughs> to, to put it lightly. And of course, uh, George's guitar work, which was made before his death, when they worked on it before his death, that was uh, fantastic to hear as well. And Ringo's drumming as well was good. But yeah, this is truly the last Beatles song. Like, this is a 10 out of 10 track, man. I'll be listening to this on and off so many times within like the next six months, I can guarantee you that. But yeah, like, posthumously John, Paul, George, and Ringo. No, even posthumously George as well, sadly. But all four of you guys, you guys are the GOATs. Greatest band of all time. You guys are the GOATs for a reason. And this thing right here perfectly shows it.